Welcome back to part four of our live training session here with our 2018 Yukon Denali that's been fitted with a Magnuson supercharger kit. Now, the last tutorial, we've completed the wide open throttle tuning process. This tutorial, we're going to experiment with our variable cam at our mid and high RPM range to see if we can pick up additional power with our engine here. We are running the stock camshaft and everything is active, including displacement on demand and that variable cam control. We're also going to be taking a look at setting up and working with our flex fuel based tuning control. So we have our flex fuel sensor enabled and we're now going to be putting in some ethanol fuel into our fuel system and seeing what kind of additional power we can gain by tuning with our ethanol fuel. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Welcome back to our live training session here with our 2018 supercharged Yukon Denali. Now the last tutorial, we dialed in our wide open throttle pools. We were making here on our mainline chassis dyno at six pounds of boost, right around 520 wheel, which isn't bad. We'll definitely be able to make some more power in this tutorial once we put in our ethanol fuel. Now we have a flex fuel sensor installed in the fuel system. It actually has the factory plug in the wire harness. All I had to do is add the sensor in. We did turn on the flex fuel option um, in the very first tutorial when we created the base map. And then we checked in that last tutorial in our data logs, verifying that the ethanol content sensor was registering right around 10%, uh, which is what it's going to read here for the pump gas that I'm running, which is 10% blended 93 octane. That's what we have all over the area here. So this is common mostly all throughout the United States. Some stations will have ethanol free, an ethanol free fuel, but most times it's going to be at least 10% ethanol you'll find at the gas pump. So we've dialed everything in here for the specific petrol ethanol blend that we have right now. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to first take a look at experimenting with editing our variable cam timing. Now I have actually never had a stock cam set up here with a supercharger with the variable cam all enabled. So this is gonna be a little bit of trial and error. We're gonna go ahead and take away some of the cam retard at the higher engine speeds and see if it picks up some power. It may not, we may not, we may have to just stick with the factory variable cam mapping at wide open throttle conditions, but we'll at least try and see what's going to happen. We might find some hidden power there, so that might be a bonus. We're gonna try that. And once we verify that that's all good and everything is exhausted in terms of uh, editing the cam tables and trying to pick up additional power, we'll move on to doing a flex fuel based tune. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pour ethanol in the fuel system. Now I'm about half tank on my, uh, my level, on the gas tank level here on the dash. And um, I have pump ethanol right out of the station. Now it is a winter blend. So that could be something like 70% ethanol and it may not be as much as 80, 85% ethanol, but we'll find, we're probably gonna end up with somewhere around 30 to 50% ethanol range. So we'll get the effect of running ethanol. And uh, unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to get uh, a higher ethanol content than that. I don't have any E98 here, pure ethanol to be able to blend and bring the, the content up. Um, we'll find once we reach about 60, 70% ethanol, there's really not a whole lot of benefit to running those higher ethanol contents am content amounts. It's just going to stress our fuel system more. And we do have the LT4 fuel injectors and fuel pump installed on this project here. So we do have additional fuel that we can play with here and we should be okay once we run our ethanol blend. So we'll have to see how that goes and we'll definitely pick up additional power. I'm guessing probably 30 to maybe 50 wheel horsepower increase by running the ethanol fuel simply because we can add additional spark timing and uh, we can usually pick up uh, the power, the, the torque um, safely without having any knock kick in. So we'll kind of see how that goes. The last tutorial, we were getting just a little bit of knock retard. Uh, we did make a change to the knock recovery table. We doubled the knock recovery table values, which will bring back that spark timing a little bit, a little bit quicker as the knock is registered and it pulls out some some spark timing. It'll bring that back in quicker rather than having it hang in in um, being the entire run as we were discussing that last tutorial. So we have to flash that change. I haven't actually updated anything with that last recovery rate change. But what we'll do here, we're going to jump right into the variable cam timing and we're going to start to edit the variable cam table. Do a little bit of experimentation. Now the way that the variable cam works on this engine is it doesn't advance the cam, it actually retards the cam as we go up into high engine speeds. So we're going to go ahead and edit the tables, take a couple degrees out of that cam retard and see by advancing the cam a little bit more at high engine speeds if we can gain any more power. Now we do have the Magnuson supercharger, we have the uh, Kuxlong tube headers and the high flow cats with a sock exhaust. So I don't know exactly how much we're going to be able to get away with. Again, this is all going to be a little bit of an experiment for me here because I haven't had this combination of parts. Usually if I'm doing a supercharger, it's going to be a bigger cam that's installed and we have uh, the variable cam completely deleted 
or we're gonna be stock without a supercharger with the stock cam, so I've never got this combination yet. So we'll see what this does on the chassis dyno. Um, let's go take a look real quick. What we're gonna do is jump into engine. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.